So this is how we can use MS or Microsoft Word in your Android mobile phone. Let's get into it. At first, you should know that there is a dedicated Microsoft Word app available on the Google Play Store. So if you want to, I would recommend you to download that app and you can then start using it. I'm saying this because there are some alternative methods and alternative Word or like text document apps. But if you want to stick with the Microsoft, then go for it. Definitely go ahead and install the app. You will be prompted to sign up or sign in with your account. So if you don't have a Microsoft account just yet, you'll need to create it. But if you do, just use it to sign in to the app. And once you're inside, you can essentially just open documents or start a new one, right? So uh, you can choose where exactly this will be stored when you start a new document. So it will be on this device in the documents folder. And I can just start creating a blank document right now. And at first, uh, yeah, it asks you to access the or give it access to your data. So it moved me over to the settings. But if everything just works fine for you, you can just get inside of the word editing. And it just looks kind of like on your computer, uh, all of the same settings. You can do your formatting. You can start typing in your document and basically work with your file as if you would normally do. Once you are done with the editing and you want to now save or export that project, you need to click on the file in the top left and you can see we have the save as option. So when you click on this, you can choose where specifically you are supposed to save it. So you can use the OneDrive cloud, you can save it on this device or even choose a different place like a Google Drive or SD card. But once you select the location, you can proceed and name that document as you want. It will be titled or the suffix at the end will be .docx, of course, the documents. So you can just save it and it will be saved there. So that's basically how it can be used. It is a very brief guide on using the app, but perhaps we can go in depth and talk about all of the features and like formatting and layouts and inserting images and stuff like this. But yeah, that requires a whole separate video. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and subscribe and let me know if you would be if you would like to see that type of content in the future. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.